physics by iitns we are back with another very important question and this is a very basic question and we actually neglect the facts which we usually see or observe in the nature and we will learn the basic things of nature today in this video so the question is why metals have shiny surface so this is the photos of gold silver so they have shiny surfaces means they are metals and they have shiny surfaces they reflect light now we understand why metals reflect light before starting the video we have an announcement that we have arranged full length test series and subject wise test series you can choose your scheme accordingly and first full length test will be on 16th august 2020 so let's start and the question was why do metals reflect now we will discuss in this video why do metals reflect what is the basic difference between a metal and a dielectric the interaction of light with metal and the formation of plasmon okay so in metals we have to understand its physics first metals have free electrons or we can tell that it has electron gas so you can think of this as a cloud of free electron gas okay and it is around the background of a positive ion and whenever this cloud of free electron gas is uh, interacting with the incident radiation certain things will occur okay so we'll understand what will occur and this cloud of negative charges or electron gas with the background of positive charges or positive ions we can tell it as plasma okay now we should understand what is plasma plasma is one of the four fundamental states of matter it consists of a gas of ions and free electrons now how can plasma be generated plasma can be generated artificially also there are natural plasma also how can you artificially generate plasma you can artificially generate plasma by heating a neutral gas or subjecting it to a strong electromagnetic field to the point where an ionized gaseous substance becomes increasingly electrically conductive okay and the resulting charged ions and the electrons become influenced by long range electromagnetic fields making the plasma dynamics more sensitive to those fields than a neutral gas so these are the basic difference of plasma and a neutral gas now we will understand that for uh, in nature when we observe plasma or what are the applications of plasma is a direct application of plasma in the ionosphere because in ionosphere as a plasma because there are ions and electrons or positive negative charges so we can get satellite communication we can have radio wave communication because this plasma reflect the long long range electromagnetic wave that is the radio wave and we can certainly communicate with different satellite systems using this ionosphere of earth so this is an direct application of the plasma here now we understand the metal case here first why we are going to the plasma because we have understood that in metals there are free electrons or there are free electron clouds uniformly distributed around the positive ions or positive background so when reflection is happening what is going to affect to the plasma medium inside the metal suppose there is a light in form of electromagnetic wave so electromagnetic wave means there is an oscillating electric field and magnetic field so an incoming or incident beam of light can create an oscillating electromagnetic wave on the surface of the metal and how is it so because it can oscillate and the electrons or free electron gas also can respond to the oscillation and it can respond to the oscillation means it can vibrate also or it can oscillate also and this oscillation leads to a polarization or this can polarize the electron plasma and this free electron starts to oscillate in phase with the electric field so with this vibration as some of these places we will have a larger negative ion uh, electron cloud density where some of the places we have lower electron cloud density so we answered the question how does this polarized plasma affect the system so light is a uh, sorry the oscillation of the electron plasma creates another electromagnetic field due to the polarization and this field is out of phase with the incident wave okay so uh, incident electromagnetic wave so what is happening here you have to understand it suppose this is the metal 
and this is the incident light and this incident light here inside whenever it is incident on the metal there are free electron clouds and it is certainly responding to the oscillating electric field and at some region there are larger cloud electron cloud density and at some region there are lower electron cloud density and this is the oscillation of the electrons and due to this oscillation of the electrons we have or we can get electromagnetic wave okay or this electromagnetic wave or the this field is out of the phase with this incident the field that is generated by the oscillating electron it will be out of the phase with this incident electromagnetic wave and that what is exactly showing here this is the incident one and this is the generation of the electric field due to this oscillation of the charges so electron cloud is polarized polarized means displacement of charges positive and negative charges we get polarization and due to the vibration or oscillation of the electron we get elect electric field oscillating electric field and this oscillating electric field is opposite to phase of the incident electromagnetic wave so it certainly cancels the electromagnetic wave and why is it so because from lenz's law also we can understand that the uh, emf that is induced due to the uh, change in change in the magnetic field it is directly uh, proportional but it is opposite to that the that the cause of the driving force so it is the same as the lenz's law okay so the electromagnetic wave generated from the polarization cancels out 100% of the original incident electromagnetic wave inside an ideal metal because ideal metal consists of lots of free charges or lots of free electrons or clouds there are just clouds of electrons ideally and it can cancel out the total electro incident electromagnetic field and we cannot get a, uh, the radiation uh, or penetration of the electromagnetic field inside the metal that means metals uh, the light is not penetrating through the metal the electromagnetic wave has been totally converted into the ripples in the plasma we will understand this topic or, or this point uh, in some uh, after some time let us focus the first thing does the what will happen when this polarization cancels out the 100% of the incident light and then the incident light is stopped and cannot penetrate inside the bulk of the metal and at the surface this electromagnetic wave from the polarization is directed outwards away from the surface and constitutes the reflected light so come to the earlier uh, here earlier picture so inside it is totally cancelling each other but at this surface it can come out okay so that's why we get the reflected surface or reflect the uh, metals reflect or we get shiny surface of the metal now what will happen to the non ideal metals means reflectivity is not 100% it is 90% or less than that the electron cloud takes some energy from the incident light to maintain its oscillation and since it is taking some energy so the reflected light which they produce due to their oscillation it will be lower in intensity than the incident one now we will understand that point which we left that what happens when this polarized electron gas oscillate so there can be more negative region than some other region at a certain distance at some region there is more negative at some region at the same instant there should be lower negative region so this forms a rippling pattern in the plasma that is what is this ripple that is the variation of the distribution of electrons or spatial variation of the distribution of electrons and this is called the plasmon and within one word what is plasmon plasmon is a quantum of plasma oscillation so like the photon is the quantum of light the phonon is the quantum of lattice vibration just like the plasmon is the quantum of the plasma oscillation so look here this is the metal case suppose this is the metal interface uh, this is the this is actually surface plasmon resonance this is another very important uh, application of this plasmon this is picture is showing that but what i am trying to sh uh, show here and look here this is the electron and this is the wavelength and this wavelength is much much larger than the size of the particle or size of the electron here we assume for the metal case so this met uh, this electron is oscillating or responding to the incident electromagnetic wave and due to their response there is oscillation and due to that oscillation we get plasmon so if you i think you understand this video uh, you understand this 
so please if you understand this don't forget to like share the video and subscribe to the channel also don't forget to join our test series for your own benefits thank you